welcome to our video tutorial. In this guide, we'll walk you through the process of connecting the CP Plus Smart Wi-Fi indoor pan and tilt camera to your Wi-Fi network, setting up the SD card for recording, and adding the EasyCam app for remote access from anywhere. From initial connection to feature configuration, you'll learn everything you need to effortlessly secure your home. Let's begin by unboxing the camera package. Inside, You'll find the CP Plus Smart Wi-Fi Indoor Pan and Tilt Camera, a device that promises to enhance your home security. This camera boasts impressive features like 1080p Full HD video quality, ensuring that every detail is captured with stunning clarity. You can say goodbye to pixelated footage and hello to crisp, clear images, making it easier to monitor your home. One of the standout features of this camera is its 360 degrees view. It rotates a full 360 degrees, allowing you to keep an eye on every corner of the room, even when you're not there. Plus, with real-time motion detection alerts, you'll always be notified of any activity happening at home. The camera is also smart enough to follow unexpected movements, automatically tracking them to help you investigate later. To further ensure your privacy, this camera includes a privacy mode, allowing you to block the view and recording of specific areas as needed. It also features infrared lights for clear video feeds and low-light conditions, so you can rest assured that everything is captured, day or night. For those using smart home systems, the Plus EasyCam seamlessly integrates with both Alexa and Google Home for easy access. Included in the package are essential accessories for a hassle-free installation, such as a user manual, a drill template, a DC power adapter, and a camera mounting bracket with screws. Memory Card Installation before you install or remove the memory card, make sure the camera is powered off to prevent any damage to both the camera and the card. The microSD card slot is located on the bottom of the rotating lens. To access it, gently lift the camera lens upward. Next, insert the memory card as shown in the video, ensuring that it fits securely in the slot. This camera supports microSD cards of up to 128GB, which provides ample storage for long recording durations. To insert or eject the card, simply press it gently until you hear a click, indicating it's securely in place, or pops out when removing it. With a 128GB card, you can record up to one week of footage, depending on factors such as video quality, frame rate, and whether you're using continuous or motion-triggered recording modes. Once the memory card is properly installed, power on the camera to enable automatic recording. Always check that the memory card is seated correctly to avoid any data loss or recording errors. Power up the camera. To power up the camera, start by connecting it to a power source using the provided DC power adapter and USB cable. Once plugged in, the camera will begin its startup sequence. You'll notice the pan tilt, PT, lens rotating, which signals that the camera is in the process of powering on. Initially, a blue light will illuminate, indicating that the camera is booting up. As the boot-up process completes, the blue lights will start flashing, and you'll hear a voice prompt from the camera, indicating that it's ready for use. Download and install the EasyCam app. To get started with your CP Plus CP E25A Wi-Fi camera, you'll need to download and install the EasyCam app on your smartphone or tablet. Follow these simple steps for a smooth installation process. First, locate the QR code provided in the user manual that comes with your CP Plus camera. This QR code will direct you to the EasyCam app download page. Use your smartphone's camera or a dedicated QR code scanning app to scan the code, which should redirect you to the appropriate app store. If you prefer a direct download, open either the Google Play Store, for Android devices, or the Apple App Store, for iOS devices. In the search bar, type EasyCam and look for the app developed by Aditya Infotech Limited. Tap on the app icon to open its page, then click on the Install button. The installation process may take a few minutes, depending on your internet speed, so make sure you have a stable Wi-Fi or mobile data connection for a quick download. Once the EasyCam app is installed, open it to begin the setup process. Upon launching the app, you'll be prompted to review the terms of use and privacy policy. Take a moment to read through these documents, and after reviewing, 
simply tap the continue option to accept the terms and proceed with setting up your camera devices. Create an EasyCam account. You can proceed by logging in with your existing EasyCam account or registering for a new one. If you already have an EasyCam account, simply enter your credentials to log in. For those new to the service, click on Sign Up to register for a new account. For this example, we'll choose Sign Up to get started. First, select your region based on your country, then enter the email address you wish to use for registration. Ensure it's a valid email, as you'll need to verify it later. Shortly after, you should receive a verification email. Be sure to check your inbox and spam folder, if necessary, and follow the instructions in the email to confirm your registration and activate your account. Once confirmed, enter the verification code provided, and then you'll need to create a password for your account. Choose a strong password that meets the security criteria outlined on the screen, which may include a mix of upper and lower case letters, numbers, and special characters. After entering your desired password, click Sign Up to continue. Once your email is verified, click the Activated and Login option to navigate to the login page, or the app may automatically log you in. You might be prompted to grant necessary permissions for the app to function fully, so be sure to allow notifications from the EasyCam app by enabling the notification settings on your mobile phone. Now that the EasyCam app is ready to use, you can easily add your camera by selecting the Add Device option. Open the app on your smartphone and look for the Add Device button, typically found on the main screen or in the Device Management section. Camera Reset Before adding your camera device, ensure that it is in network connection mode. If the camera is not in this mode, you may need to reboot or reset it. To do this, locate the reset button on the camera and press it for about 5 to 10 seconds. Once the reset is successful, the camera will enter network connection mode, indicated by a blinking blue LED light or a voice prompt confirming that it's ready to be added to the EasyCam app. This visual cue ensures a smooth setup process. You can also add the camera using the Bluetooth connection method. To do this, enable Bluetooth on your mobile phone, and the app will automatically discover the device. Tap on the listed CP Plus camera to continue, then enter your home Wi-Fi credentials to add the camera to the EasyCam app. Note, when configuring the Wi-Fi for your camera, it's essential to keep it near your internet modem or router. This proximity helps establish a strong and stable connection during the setup process within the EasyCam app. Once the Wi-Fi is successfully configured and the camera is connected, you can then move it to your desired location for monitoring. Camera adding manually. If the Bluetooth method of adding the camera fails, you can follow these steps to add the camera manually. First, ensure that the camera's LED is blinking or that you hear a voice prompt indicating it is ready to configure the Wi-Fi network. This means the camera is in network connection mode and prepared to connect to your home Wi-Fi. Wi to begin adding the camera, open the EasyCam app and select the appropriate device type. Navigate to the Camera tab and choose the model of your camera to proceed with the setup process. After selecting the correct model, click the, the Next button to confirm that the camera's LED is flashing blue and that you hear the voice prompt for network connection. This confirmation is crucial for continuing the setup. During this process, the app may prompt you to grant access to certain features on your phone, such as location, connection. photos, and gallery. It's important to allow these permissions to ensure the app functions correctly and to facilitate a smooth setup process. Next, you will need to select your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, as the camera does not support 5 GHz, enter the password, and tap Next. Once you've entered the correct credentials, the app will establish a connection between the camera and your home Wi-Fi, allowing you to access the camera remotely through the EasyCam app. A QR code connection. will appear on the screen. Hold your phone 10 Waiting. to 20 centimeters from the camera lens until the camera indicates, connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi connection success. Device added successfully. Then, tap, I heard a prompt, in the app. When the camera announces, the setup was successful, and the app confirms it has been added, you can name your device, e.g., Living Room Cam, and click Next. If a firmware update is available, be sure to install it for the best performance.
accessing live stream and completing initial setup. To access the live stream, click the camera icon on the home screen. On your first visit, you may be prompted to configure the storage options. A screen might appear asking you to initialize the memory card as part of the setup process. If this prompt does not appear, you can manually check the memory card status or initialize it through the camera settings by going to the SD card storage option to ensure it is ready for recording properly. Click the initialize option to format the micro SD card you inserted for the first time. This step is essential because it prepares the card for recording, ensuring that footage will be stored correctly. Without this formatting, the camera may not be able to save any recordings to the card. By default, the camera is set to record motion detection events, but you can customize the recording mode to better suit your specific needs. Once the setup is complete, the camera is ready for use with features like PTZ, pan, tilt, and zoom, control, allowing you to move the camera as needed. After configuring the Wi-Fi and adding the camera to the app, you can install it in your designated location. The camera will now be fully operational, providing live streaming, playback, and PTZ controls, accessible worldwide, whether you're using mobile data or a Wi-Fi connection. To finalize the initial setup, including setting the correct date and time, click the settings icon on the camera's main page. Select device info and configure the date and time based on your location. You can also adjust recording preferences by going to the recording settings, where you'll find options related to SD card storage. For more detailed instructions, refer to another video in this series, where we cover storage settings, event alerts, two-way audio, and other configurations. For further clarification, we offer in-depth explanations of these features in additional segments of this video series. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support enables us to create more content and provide valuable resources to our audience. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated.